Welcome medicos. Let's begin with the quote. Fight for your dreams. It's worth it. Today's topic is color coding in anatomy. How to color code your diagrams in anatomy. So you should always carry these things for your anatomy lecture. A pencil, an eraser, a sharpener, ruler and especially these colors which are very important. You should at least have a red color, blue color, yellow, green brown and a black or a pencil why we'll see so first of all why it is important as i have mentioned earlier anatomy is all about diagrams the more that diagram you draw the more marks you get and also it not only helps you to get more marks but also helps you to understand better if you color code your diagrams it will be easier for you to visualize each and everything in that particular diagram and uh, it will help for your visual memory and it will be easier for you to learn all the names of the artery nerves and the veins of that particular diagrams so let's begin with so uh, let's begin with the red color red color we have uh, this reserved for arteries so always use this color for drawing arteries the benefit of it is is as much as you try using the colors it will be uh, easier for you to understand and visualize how arterial supply is present in the body and also along with the arterial supply when you draw the venous drainage uh, which we draw with the uh, blue color which we'll be talking uh, later so you understand the relation between the artery nerve and vein in a particular uh, site and uh, also these colors will help you visualize each and every topic more nicely and it, you will gain interest in this subject and anyway apart from this uh, this arterial and venous drainage is very important because this is a sure shot question in every anatomy question they will ask you mention the arterial supply or mention the blood drainage uh, blood uh, supply of this particular organ or part of the body coming to the vein a uh, vein we draw with the blue color and uh, whenever you will see when you draw a diagram uh, you will see how the venous drainage is there and how the arterial supply is there and you will correlate sometimes the name of the veins are corresponding to the name of the arteries and that makes it easier so if you draw both artery and vein at the same time with different colors and then label it it will be easier for you to understand and learn it better then we have a yellow color it is reserved for nerves so like something like this we used to draw and these are the roots and these are this is the nerve so uh, for example when you will be drawing these nerves uh, we'll start with the thicker because the roots it symbolizes the roots and as soon as you will start giving the branches of that nerve it will be thinner so by color coding and using this the thickness of it you will understand where is the root and which are the branches of it and again it makes easier for you to uh, visualize the topic coming to green a uh, green we used for the lymphatic vessels aponeurosis and ligament uh, whenever we will be uh, drawing a muscle and uh, we will uh, draw for example you are drawing a biceps muscle then you want to show the aponeurosis bicepital aponeurosis for that you will be using the green color you will read about it uh, in the upcoming lectures then for lymphatic drainage we will uh, draw it with green color similarly for ligament also we use this green color whenever required in this particular diagrammatic representation i have tried to show you both bone and muscle and as it is evident that we use brown color for the muscle and generally we use the lead pencil for the bones most of the time in upper limb and in lower limb they will be asking you origin and insertion of the muscles and in those particular questions we have to draw the bone first with the lead pencil and uh, then the muscle over it to show its origin and insertion so in these particular questions we will be using these type of color codings and uh, this will make your answer look more catchy and uh, it will help you to understand better also thank you we'll get back to you soon uh, let's end with this quote you are in the right path keep moving thank you